Hi, I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on uh, using videos with Sections Pro in the background layer. Yesterday, um, Safari was updated to version 11, and part of that update will prevent videos auto playing if they have audio. So when you drop a background video stack into a section, it will by default be in this configuration where it's muted. Now these will continue to play as normal. They will also continue to play as normal if you have either the mute and or the allow play on touch devices enabled. When this is enabled, mute is enforced automatically because it's the only way to make it play on touch. So if you're muted or you've got allow play on touch, no change. Everything will still auto play even in Safari 11 and as of January next year, Chrome will, is going to get the same treatment. So this is about what happens if you want to auto play videos that aren't muted. Well, the short answer is you can't, as you used to do, just start firing music at users when by auto playing videos. So what we've done is um, added a play button. So if I now turn the mute off, and I preview this, the video is not going to play. I'm using Safari 11 here. So instead of it automatic playing like it would have done, we now get a play button. If we click that, it disappears and the video starts as normal. Okay, so that will ensure that the user doesn't get left with one of your videos that is unable to play, that's just stuck on the first frame. And just republishing your site will automatically make that happen with no changes to your existing stacks if you've got it unmuted. If it's all muted, there's no need to worry at all. So what else can we do? Well, you might not like my play button, so you can use custom play buttons. That is just an absolute, well, not, not so much a fallback, but it's, a, it's an easy way to do it if you don't want to set anything up. But you can use a custom play button if you want. And the easiest way to do that is with Button Plus because we've got a couple of nice features that allow it to work um, with not only this background video stack but with the Read More in Paragraph Pro and so on. So all we need to do is define a Play Pause class in our background video stack. So I've just called it play pause with a hyphen. We go into button plus, right down to the bottom of the settings and where it says custom class, we give it that same class, play pause. Now instantly now, this button will play and pause the video. So here we go. Now we've still got our play button there, but if I click this button, the video will start to play. And incidentally, it will also hide the built-in one. Click it again, it pauses. But obviously, user interface wise, that's not great. So we could put play dash pause if we're using something else. But because we're using button plus, we can use two states. And the way to do that is if we change the type to be a Joey launcher, um, because Joey did the same sort of thing for top bar, um, you could or still can if you use it, um, have two button states for open and close for the menus. Um, just like with Read More, we have that integration in video. So we could say play for our text and we could say pause for our close text. We could also add a couple of icons if we wanted to, so we could make them into combi buttons. And we could say uh, FA play. These are the easier font awesome names to remember and FA pause. So we've got very unstyled buttons, but it doesn't matter. You can style them up as you want. And if you remember, we still had the built in play button. So because we've defined a play pause external button, we can say that we want to never display the play button. Okay. Now this comes with a warning. If you hover over the warning, you'll get a more descriptive warning, uh, which just explains that because of the new browser behavior, 
if you turn off the built-in play button and you haven't defined one of your own, then your users are never going to be able to play the video. It's just going to be stuck on the first frame. So we've now hidden the built-in play button and we've just got our new Joey button, which will change between play and pause. As I say, you can style this much more nicely. And of course, being sections, we could drop it in the section. We could position it where we want with sections fix or even sections box. We do all sorts of things with the button. So if you've got a big video and you want the play button in the middle of it, just center the play button and vertically center the content or use a sections fix. Okay, so that's the normal way of doing things, just using the play. But there are times when you'd rather have the video play with no sound and give the user the option for sound. So that's doable as well. So rather than forcing them to click play to start the video, you can have the video start as normal. And of course we do that by having the mute enabled and or the play on touch devices enabled. Now, this time, instead of the play pause class, I've got a mute class and that's just called mute toggle. And just the same, this is a button plus two. It's set to be a Joey launcher. This time I've styled it a bit more and I've styled it just as icon buttons. And we have the uh, font awesome volume up and volume off classes. And our custom class here is mute toggle, which is just the mute toggle class that we've defined in our video background. So that's the link between the button and the video. So when we click this button, it's going to mute and unmute the video. If I just turn that feature off for a minute. So this time the video is going to play because we've started the video muted with our playback control here. So we're not breaking the browser police rules and the video plays as normal, but muted. And then we have our mute button here. Now, you may want to leave that mute button visible all the time, in which case you wouldn't put it in the middle, or you might put it down the corner or just outside the video, wherever. You might even put it in your menu bar. But if you're doing the sort of thing where you just want to get the video auto playing and then sort of prompt the user to unmute it, then we have a setting for that, not surprisingly, which we can just hide that button as soon as it becomes unmuted. So now it's going to behave like the play button did, but instead of having to wait to, auto, to play the video, the video will still auto play as normal, whether it's on page load or when it's in view. And this time we just have a button there prompting the user to unmute it. And when they do, that button disappears. So that should give you a good few options uh, with different ways to handle the new restrictions. And uh, I hope it's been useful and I'll talk to you next time.